I really didn't get a chance to talk about my uh, Pixar pickups uh, around Christmas time for uh, December 2012. So uh, now that it's a week into 2013, it's about uh, January 4th, I think today is that I'm filming this, but I'm going to upload it in a couple days. Anyways, um, I didn't get to talk about my holiday pickups. Uh, Target, they were trying to clear the pegs of their old stock. Uh, you know, they got tons. The Targets in my area, they got tons of Francesco's. Cool car, but I mean, how many Francesco's and McQueen's can people buy? You know, there's only so many people that buy this stuff. So uh, they had a $1.99 uh, special price to get rid of the old stock. And I guess Target had put out some new stock too. So I got to pick up this Chase Fabrizio. Pretty nice piece. Even better getting it at $1.99, no doubt. Now, it doesn't have the uh, eyes like the other ones. This is a really cool piece. You see the eyes there? They're kind of floating inside. They're, they're not on the outside like uh, other Pixar pieces. It's actually, it looks like it's actually the, uh, the side view mirror here. It looks like there's an insert, and that insert goes across, and that's where the eyes are, or on that plastic part underneath the glass. That is pretty cool. I might uh, hopefully I can find a second one because then I'd like to open one up open one up for now I got to keep this one in the package it's just easier for me to stay organized so I know I found this one at Target because I got it at $1.99 so these uh, cars two packages this style uh, I know that's gonna help me remember what I got where and uh, at Target that day I picked up this uh, Carlo Maserati I also picked up another uh, Peter Trunko. Like I said, they were $1.99, so I don't care if I get a few extras. I was glad to find Miguel El Camino. I mean, Miguel Camino. I know I did a video of this guy. I, I found him at Pet Boys, like $5.99 or $6.99 or something. And I thought, man, I'm never going to find him. I'll go ahead and spend the money. I should have known better because, you know, I should have known better. But and so, anyways, I picked up a couple of Miguel Caminos for dollar ninety nine, and uh, at uh, Christmas, here's the metallic Toys R Us version. Uh, I did show this one in a video because um, I was talking about some uh, Christmas specials, and I talked about um, buy one get one at uh, fifty percent off. So I went ahead and picked up these two metallic pieces. Now these two were originally, you know, you buy something and then uh, you buy like $40, $50 worth of Pixar stuff and then you get this free. And I'm not going to, I couldn't find anything that I wanted to spend that kind of money. Uh, I'm sorry, I found one more piece. I must have got this at Target looking at the uh, card design. Here's uh, Nick Cartone. Is it Cartone or Cartoni? Let me know. I should have took a look at the back. So I got him. Uh, I got this one was at uh, Kmart that day, right? Uh, I don't think I have him. I got Suki. Suki, I wanted to find at Walmart. I know it's because of the other packaging. Now I don't know if Walmart is only going to have this packaging. Let me know. Is Walmart getting this style packaging? The uh, going back to the uh, retro, just the cars, not cars too. And then uh, Target has cars too. Uh, I can't keep track. There's just so much cars, merchandise, toys, and this and that. Uh, I just can't keep track. And it's hard to find everything because with so many McQueens and the uh, other old stocks sitting there, when they get a case, all the good stuff is gone. And then what happens? Every doggone case that Mattel releases, it's got more McQueens. It's got more uh, Francesco's. Was that his name? Uh, I'm tired, sorry. Uh, yeah, Francesco. And next thing you know, uh, just more and more on the pegs. Suki's pretty cool. Got neat windows. Got neat decos. Now, see, I've seen both movies. Let me make sure that I'm done with uh, all the target pieces first. Here we have Eric Lane, Lane Lee. Pretty neat. He's got a little flag. Is he attached to that thing? We're supposed to stick it on someone. Looks like uh, looks like I'm supposed to stick it on the wheel myself. 
Maybe it was maybe because he's wider. If they would have put it here, it made the packaging too big. So now we stick it on ourselves. Yeah, look, it's got a hole right there. So I just pop it on myself. Let's see who I didn't find. Nope. Is that him? Yep. Got him. I don't think so. Chase. Nope. Nope. Another McQueen. See, that's what I'm talking about. Every assortment. McQueen's and uh, the other one. So anyways, let's see. Uh, that's it for my Target Toys R Us pickups. Now we're just going to talk about Walmart. So Suki, very cool model. I'd love to, love to get a few of these. Hopefully I can find them. What's interesting about finding this is that now they're going to go to series for the Pixar cars. So what was it? i seen it on here. They had something toward... Oh yeah, tuners. So look, you got a tuner series. Then you got Palace Chaos. Then you got uh, Lemons. Then you got uh, Airport Adventure. Is that all of them? I think so. I hope. I might have some laying around somewhere. But, uh, oh, I know what I did. I took pictures of some of the cars in the store. And I'm not going to have time to add them here. But see, now they're going to go back. See, I told you, see, it's regular cars. See, now they're going to go and reissue some of the original cars line. Now, see, these, these guys wore out quite a bit. I know that was Toys R Us. But uh, I have all these guys. So now, since Suki is the only new one, I think that one's going to be hard to get because new collectors, I mean old collectors, only want this piece. Of course, new collectors are going to get them all. But I hope it doesn't wind up the same, same, same to where they pack the assortments with so many things that uh, these things wind up clogging the pegs because not enough people want them. And everybody wants that one because it's new. Let's take a look at uh, this one here. Here we have Airport Adventure. I think this is going to be... Uh, who did I pick up? I probably picked up Grim. Because Airport Mater, he didn't look that much different. I got Holly. Where's Holly? Hmm. I guess there's two different Hollies. Because this Holly... This is cool. I'll show you that in a second. I really like that one. But, uh... So this has already been out. Oh, Finn again? I mean, how many Fins and Maters in this? These guys, I'm sure they're going to be hanging around. I think they're already starting to pile up in Walmart. Uh, it would have really been cool to find a security guard Finn right here. But uh, pretty sure I got Grim with the weapon. Yep. So pretty neat. Airport Adventure. So they're going to start going with series. And uh, to be honest with you, I could care less. Uh, I collect cars. I don't collect series. Um, it's too frustrating. Mattel will come up with stuff. And then you can't find, you can't finish the series. So whatever I find, I find. Now this one I actually had, I had these cars sitting over here on the side while I've been doing my other videos. And some eagle eye viewer, I can't think of their name right now, but just, just the corner, just like the edge of the car was sitting over here. And doggone it, you seen it. So I had to tell him what it was. Uh, I said uh, it was PD Pacer, pretty cool. Now, neat as a model to play with. Got uh, welding on there. Got a little welding torch, but uh, probably won't roll too good because it's got the attachments. Um, so here we have the lemons. Let's take a look at the lemons. Uh, Vladimir, he's been out. Uh, no, it doesn't look familiar. Got him here. Mm, Victor H. I think he's out already, right? And this one does not look familiar. Now see, obviously I'm not a Pixar, Cars, Disney a specialist. It's not my expertise. I like to collect these. But I can't talk that knowledgeable, and I don't have really resources to sit there and look up the information. I just like to buy what I find, and if I don't find it, uh, no problem. I can. Uh, I have enough other cars to keep me happy. But this Holly Shiftwell is really cool. Definitely remember this from the movie, ha her having that screen. I showed my daughter this one. I go, hey, you happen to remember this from the movie? And she goes, yep. She knew that one for sure. So let's see, Palace Chaos, but they only show uh, they only show these two. And tell you what, you know, if they're gonna keep coming out with just slightly different colors of uh, you know characters, I'm not gonna pick them up. Uh, just I don't I don't need the colors of every doggone thing. You're gonna have Dirt Track McQueen, Mud Wheel McQueen, Oily McQueen. Uh, that's enough. But uh, anyways, had to get this two pack. Nice little red, white, and blue. Uh, I like Raul. He doesn't roll very good, but uh, maybe he rolls better from this uh, two-pack. And Bruno Motoru. Motoru? 
let me know. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, wait a second. I got tape. Did this pack come apart and Mattel tape it up? Or did they do that in the store? Didn't even notice. So all these are like my uh, Christmas pickups. And uh, didn't really get a chance to showcase them in a video. Uh, come on, French. Just how many? How many? How many? Again, 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 enough. So these are a two packs, actually. They have a two packs. I just got this one because uh, uh, I like him. And I don't have that many of him, just a couple. But um, this is a nice uh, new character uh, for me, new car. I think these were $7.99. The other stuff was, I did not keep track of the prices. Here's uh, other two packs. You got Nigel Gearsley, Austin Littleton. Let me give you a little close up. Nice uh, details on there. And let's see. So uh, one, two, one, two. That's not the other pack I got. The other pack I got was this one. I don't know if this was a, uh, hmm, now that this is in the other packaging, I might have picked this up somewhere else and I don't remember where. I just kind of picked these up and set them to the side because uh, they're my, uh, they're for different things for me. But uh, more Finn McMissile. Come on, man, I like the car, but geez overproduced just like crazy just hanging at target and walmart and so it's not worth worth it for me to keep looking for the stuff when you can keep looking uh, all month long and not see anything new so i'm really happy i'm pretty excited to get some of this new stuff but uh i don't uh, necessarily hold out too much hope whatever i find i find and uh, it's not my expertise i do like to collect it but um, definitely don't uh, find enough new stuff to keep the, uh, the videos going about it. But anyways, uh, for my Pixar collectors, if you like a peek at some of the newer stuff that's been found in the stores, there you go. I got more Cars videos. You can click on Max on the left to see my uh, charge-ups. Or click on PD on the right to see my Disney Pixar playlist. Thank you. Bye bye. I didn't get a chance to talk about my Pixar picks up. I got Mark. If you'd like to see my video about the charger. Oh! Oh!